Well, Shark Week is among us, and a new host is diving right in, and that kicks off today's Hot Topics, brought to you by Walton Art Center. If you're looking to snag a virtual seat to all the shark action under the seat, the Discovery Channel's got you covered. With 21 hours of original programming to sink your teeth into, this year's Shark Week will also be streamed on Max, and it will be hosted by <laughs> John Cena. Yes, yeah, we've been looking at some photos of John Cena mm -hmm. doing his wrestling thing, and speaking of him, he has just announced that his retiring from the professional wrestling arena after two decades in the ring. Ugh, the wrestler turned actor told fans in Toronto that the 2025 season would be his last. He did promise a farewell tour though with dozens of dates and an epic final fight. Obviously, as Mac was saying, you can check him out hosting Shark Week, but um, but yeah, you're not going to be able to see him in the ring for much longer. But you know what? He's still going to make movies. He's going to be on the screen. Thank goodness for that. You know, that show on, on Max, The Peacemaker, was one of my favorite shows of a couple years ago. So yeah, he's a funny dude. He does he a lot of great hilarious. stuff. He is hilarious. I love him. Now, I will say on to disappointing news. Mm. Oscar-winning producer John Landau, who worked closely with director James Cameron on Titanic and in the Avatar series, has passed away. His family announced his death Saturday and no cause has yet been given. His partnership with Cameron actually led to three Oscar nominations and a Best Picture win for 1997's Titanic. Together, the pair account for some of the biggest blockbusters in movie history, including Avatar and its sequel. Uh, the trio of films are actually among the highest grossing movies of all time. In a statement, Cameron said, quote, Landau will be remembered as much for his vast generosity of spirit as for the movies themselves. He was 63. Yeah, sad to see yes. that happen. You know, sometimes partnerships like that are just something that is of a moment. Yeah. And, um, seeing, and rare. Yeah. And very rare. Yeah, Landau and, and Cameron, they're working together on so many iconic movies. Speaking of iconic movies, after a historically bad first first half of the year, the box office suddenly booming. The Illumin uh, Illumination animation sequel Despicable Me 4 led the way over the weekend with 75 million in ticket sales. The Independence Day weekend haul further extended the considerable box office reign of the Minions, <laughs> arguably the most bankable force in movies today. And it also kept a summer streak going for Hollywood. This year's biggest hit thus far, Inside Out 2, came in second with $30 million. A Quiet Place Day One, which I still haven't seen, but I'm excited to see mm -hmm. now. That dropped a third, but still made $21 million. Fourth in the box office went to Maxine, a scary movie that completes a trilogy there. And then coming in fifth was the latest installment of the Bad Boys franchise, Bad Boys Ride or Die. So yeah, uh, box office, summer box office heating up in full swing and kind of making uh, making its effort to restore whatever was mm -hmm. lost in the first half of the absolutely, summer. Absolutely, absolutely. And South Korea's beloved giant panda twin cubs celebrated their first <laughs> birthday. Oh! So the babies were born at the Everland theme park near Seoul in July of 2023, and they are the country's first panda twins. And to celebrate them turning one, the keepers threw them a little birthday party mm. and presented them a band cake and they got lots of toys so happy birthday y'all deserve it yes playing with some enrichment items there a bamboo <laughs> cake i just wonder what yes. that what 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 does that taste like i'm probably very earthy i think so i think that they are into it though i mean totally into it look at how adorable. cute they are oh yeah. love them speaking